Attitude check. Bronco Pride. In 1867, two years past the Emancipation Proclamation, newly enslaved people who were free were now looking for opportunities to become enriched as well as educated. Seven black men came together and put in $136 and bought two plots of land right here in Fayetteville. And upon that vision, they created an institution that started out as a teaching college that has developed into a fully accredited university under the state of North Carolina with 33 undergrad programs, 17 graduate programs, and one doctoral degree. This is Fayetteville State. Hello everyone, my name is Amarish Hawkins and I'll be your virtual tour guide. My name is William Carr, I'm a 1977 graduate of Fayetteville State University. I graduated with a degree of biology and with the preparation that Fayetteville State gave me in 1977, I went on to the Meharry Medical College and got my DES degree. The Science Plaza is a whole vibe. Where else would you go to get your favorite lattes, teas, or coffee? But it's our own Java City Eco Grounds. It's our version of Starbucks. Also at the Science Plaza, there are three other science buildings that encapsulates an electron microbe, a planetarium, and a live model of a North Carolina reef where you can interact with animals typical of North Carolina environments. Shuffling back and forth to class, you will see students who are forensic science majors, mathematic majors, physics, and computer science with chemistry majors. Some students even participate in our 3 plus 2 engineering program that allows a student to receive two undergraduate degrees in five years. Three years with us and two years with NC State. Ladies and gentlemen, the Science Plaza. The Southeastern North Carolina Nursing Education and Research Center, a.k.a. the Nursing Building. <laughs> Speaking of research, welcome to the building that hosts one of our top programs at FSU via nursing. Our nursing program has consistently been ranked as a top national program, whereas we are ranked number two in the Eastern region and among the best NC system schools as told by NursesJournal.org. This is not a random ranking. The way they ranked 1,189 nursing programs is by selecting 20 metrics and then simplifying it by making it into five categories. Quality, affordability, convenience, satisfaction, and value. In 2018, 100% of our nursing students passed the NCLEX exam and it's an attribution to the staff that continues to push for excellence. The Charles Chestnut Library. This library was named after an African-American author, essayist, political activist, and lawyer, best known for his novels that explored the complex issues of racial and social identity in the post-Civil War South. So it's only fitting that his name would be added to this sacred place. This is home to all of our young scholars pouring over volumes of information in order to prepare themselves to change the world. In the library, you will find 70,000 square feet of space dedicated to research and study. As a student, you will also have access to private study areas, meeting rooms for class projects, and a whole staff of qualified librarian professionals. Charles Chestnut Library. The G.L. Butler Building was named after a prominent dentist and chairman of the Board of Trustees here at FSU. This building is home to our School of Education and Performing Arts majors. Students in this building pursue their degrees in birth through kindergarten, elementary education, middle school, and high school education. This building is equipped with a mini theater to produce plays, workshops, and smiles. Hello to all our performing arts majors. Welcome everyone to the Broadwell College of Business and Economics. This is home to another top program at FSU. And how do we know this is a top program or how do we measure whether a program is not only thriving, but striving? Well, this particular program is accredited by the AACSB, 
or the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business. It's recognized by U.S. News World Report, the Princeton Review. Uh, you all get the picture. A lot of accreditations or a lot of validations. Pictured is our day trading room where students learn the art of trade in real time. The Broadwell College of Business and Economics. Welcome everyone to the Loretta Taylor Building. This building is home to our Air Force ROTC and our criminal justice majors. Speaking of Air Force ROTC, one should inquire about their program that will pay for your education in return to allow you to become a commissioned officer. Fun fact, Loretta Taylor was a Hall of Fame coach for our university and she was a former instructor. In regards to the ROTC, it also applies on the Army side, which we'll visit one of their buildings just in a little bit. This is the Taylor Science Building or the Taylor Social Science Annex. This building uh, was named in honor of Robert R. Taylor, the first black graduate of MIT. Taylor was also a member of Booker T. Washington's Tuskegee cabinet. It's a lot of history here. It is in this building where you will visit certain majors. Uh, you can go see our history majors, even our English department. Maybe you want to look into our psychology, criminal justice. All these things are encapsulated within this building and building surrounding. So if you have an interest in them, go ahead and contact them. Also, don't forget about the Army ROTC, which is downstairs, and they will give you information as to how they can pay for your education. The Telecom Building formerly known as the old library this is the creatives safe space as a communications major it is here where one will receive an opportunity to learn how to be an on-air personality you'll also learn how to work the media boards and use our state-of-the-art cameras in our state-of-the-art television studio and practice your state-of-the-art photography hey did i mention everything is state-of-the-art <laughs> speaking of photography welcome to the Rosenthal building. Home to our illustrious band, in this building you will hear the sweet chords of harmony as our musicians practice in the soundproof room following the majestic voices of our university choir practicing and readying themselves to take a trip across the state to represent our school. Let's not forget our own art studio that students contribute by creating works of art and expression which is available to the public upon the days that it's open. Let's take a look at our residence halls. Our residence halls are a student's home away from home. Our residence halls are a mix of suite and hall styles. Located near the top of campus, students are a few steps away from the School of Business and Economics building and the Butler building. The residence hall includes spacious rooms with carpet, a full-size bed per resident, and a large five by four window per room for a marvelous view of our campus. An example of one of our premier residence halls on Fayetteville State's campus is the Hackley Honors Hall. This hall was established in 1998 and named in honor of Fayetteville State's University's former chancellor, Dr. Lord Vic Hackley. It's located in the middle of campus. It's a suite style co-ed residence hall that is home to the international education and the global scholar communities. Now these rooms, they include the twin size beds and mattress, desk, chairs, a closet, and a dresser for your wardrobe. Welcome everyone to the Capo Arena. This is the best gym and or the facilities in the CIAA. Sports complex holds a dance studio, a state-of-the-art weight room, and an Olympic-sized swimming pool with a high diving platform. Recently, our sports teams have been successful in a problem to the rest of the league by adding championships upon championships uh, to our women's basketball, our women's volleyball, track and field, bowling, and cross country all have won championships. Our men's basketball team is of championship caliber and our football team has been to the championship game three years in a row. Wait a minute, I feel a dad joke coming on. What do sprinters eat before a race? Nothing. 
they fast. <laughs> K4 Arena, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome everyone to the Lily Building, one of the more unique buildings that we have here on campus. This building serves a dual purpose. On the front side of the Lily Building, you'll take care of all things financial aid. You can visit the Lab Center where you can fill out your FAFSA or any other paperwork that you have to get done. Or you can go upstairs and pay any parking tickets or fees that you have in the cashier's office. Once you take care of that, just go on to the back side of the Lily Building and you can visit the small gym open to all students. We hold intramural tournaments every year in case you don't want to play for the university and you have the opportunity to play other universities through our intramural side. This is the Lily Building. The Rudolph Jones Student Center. Named after the sixth president of the university, this building is considered the hub of student life at FSU. Here you will find students enjoying a sandwich from Chick-fil-A and don't forget the lemonade, please. This is also where you'll come together and celebrate special events at FSU, such as Rodeo Week, the infamous stroll-offs by members of the Greek fraternities and sororities, and let's not forget homecoming. Attitude, chat. Come inside the plaza on the top floor as a student, you will have access to our student lounge, the auditorium. Uh, this is where you'll have your freshman orientation and of course the multi-purpose room. Downstairs on the lower level of the student center, you will have entrance to our game room having access to multiple gaming systems. What a great place to practice on your Xbox, PlayStation or any other gaming console particularly for our future e-gaming majors. You can also play foosball or shoot some pool. We also have a movie theater that seats 100 students, which allows us to debut your newest shows on your favorite streaming site, or you can just Netflix and chill. The main dining hall, equipped with seven food stations that has a rotating menu built to fit any and all of your nutritional needs including chicken fried Wednesdays, fried fish Fridays. Did someone ask for a fresh omelet? No problem. Hamburger and fries? You got it. But my personal favorite is the all you can eat cereal bar. Uh oh, I feel a dad joke coming on. Hey, what do you call mac and cheese that gets all in your face? Too close for comfort food. <laughs> Lastly, the Student Center is home to our Student Government Association, Student Activities Council, our career services who are there to help you build your resume and secure the job. Oh, and don't forget our Bronco Spirit Shop, filled with the latest must-have apparel to be a Bronco. At the Spalding Building, we offer student health services, which provides a variety of confidential clinical health services. They include acute medical care for women and men's health, STI counseling, screening and treatment, laboratory services, or as they say across the pond, laboratory, <laughs> family planning, pharmacy services, sports physicals, ROTC physicals, and we also provide COVID-19 testing for students who are symptomatic or have a known exposure or were notified through contact tracing. The Seabrook Auditorium is our entertainment venue that contributes to the FSU culture by providing space for our concerts, comedy shows, and an occasional turn up session. We have also hosted prominent political figures such as Jill Biden, Cornel West, and former President Barack Obama. Thank you for participating in this virtual tour. Please allow me to leave a closing word given to us by a former guest, acclaimed author and actor, Mr. Hill Harper. And take risk. I will win at my life. And in so doing, give others permission to do the same. God bless you, baby.